Hi guys, in this video we finish the electric tow bar, so stay tuned. This is the second and last uh, part of the tow bar video. The first one you can see here, here or down in the description below. In this part we're doing mostly the control box and the electronics, so enjoy. Here I removed all the support material from the print. And as you can see it fits perfectly kind of. Here can you see how the battery mount will be attached to the casing. This is the main power switch. I attached the battery mount to the lid and secured everything with some clamps. Then I drilled some holes and screwed everything down. Then you need to insert the battery terminal. The square plastic thingy will prevent the connector from getting pushed down. Now it's time for the push buttons. Here can you see how it looks like, but unfortunately the green ones both were broken. Time to fire up your soldering iron and cut some wires. Add some shrink tubing and that's it. And now the first button is ready to get mounted into the casing.
Repeat the same for the second button and that's it. Here I'm preparing the power cable that goes from the controller to the motor. I forgot to film how I cut it, but it's around 50 centimeters long, one and a half feet. Here I'm preparing the internal power cables, the ones coming from the battery and the ones connecting both relays. I use the rubber grommet to make everything watertight. Here's the circuit diagram. I used 5 volt regulator to control the relays. If you push a button, then one of the relays get activated and the motor gets power. Depending on which relay you activate, it either goes forward or backwards. If you push both buttons at the same time, the motor stops. Here can you see how I connect the motor to the relays. The connectors were a little bit too big, so I had to cut them to the right size. Here are all the cables I prepared for the internal wiring. The thin ones are going to the voltage regulator and the thicker ones are going to the relay. The connectors were a little bit too big for the power switch. Later I soldered them directly to it. Here I'm preparing the connector for the power regulator. The power regulator you can see here was broken, so I used another one. There was not enough room for all the cables, so I drilled a little bit of the plastic away. In the final 2D file, this is already removed. I added some double-sided tape to the plastic spacer so it doesn't wobble around. Now it's time to put everything together. After I checked everything was a good fit, I soldered the second cable to the power switch.
This is the new voltage regulator. The other one was broken, as I mentioned before. And as you can see, this one works perfectly. Here I found out that the green button is broken. I changed to the blue one and now everything works perfectly. Here I'm testing the LED. And it works. Now I'm connecting all the power cables to the relays. This is the final step. We are almost there. Everything still works. I'm securing the voltage regulator with some tape so it doesn't fall out of the socket. Now it's time to close the case. The power switch got a little bit pushed out, but I will fix this when I open the case again. For now, that's fine for me. And now for the final test. Will everything work? So the LED works, that's great.
thanks for watching. Unfortunately, the plane is right now in the paint shop, so I can't test the tow bar. But as soon as the plane gets back, I will test it and post another video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like and all the other stuff. See ya.